Hello students, welcome to Edufarm. Believe and become. Please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell icon to never miss any update. Hello students, here we have a compilation of all the test yourself question only for your convenience. 100 question from test yourself is only for 100 rupees. All in a PDF format. You just need to contact us through the mail and the mail address is edufarm1994 at the rate gmail.com. Contact now to avail this offer. Also, we are coming up with a question set for Niper JEE and for that, Stay tuned with EduFarm. Welcome again in another lecture by EduFarm. In the previous video of biopharmaceutics, we started discussion about factors affecting absorption of drugs. Here is the continuation. So, today we will discuss about another factor that is doses form characteristics and pharmaceutical ingredient rest of the factors will be discussed in the next lecture so let's begin firstly the disintegration time disintegration time is of particular importance in case of solid doses form like tablets and capsules faster the disintegration faster will be the absorption example is uh, the entry coated tablets uh, take more time to absorb than non coated one dissolution time is also directly proportional to the absorption that is, faster the dissolution, faster the absorption, and vice versa. Pharmaceutical ingredients or excipients greatly affect the absorption of drugs. A drug is rarely administered in its original form. Always a convenient doses form to be administered by a suitable route is prepared so the formulation contains a number of non-drug component which is known as excipients excipients ensures the physicochemical stability uniformity of composition and doses and optimum bioavailability of the product more the number of excipients in doses form more complexities and greater the potential for absorption vehicle is the major component of liquid orals and parenterals aqueous non aqueous water miscible and non aqueous water immiscible vehicles are used for the formulation rate of absorption depends on to a large extent on its uh, miscibility with the body fluids. Water miscible vehicles are miscible with the body fluids and drugs from them are rapidly absorbed. In case of water immiscible vehicles, the rate of drug absorption depend upon its partitioning from oil phase to the aqueous body fluids which could be rate limiting step diluents which are added to the tablet and capsule if the required dose is inadequate to produce the necessary bulk the hydrophilic powders uh, like starch lactose microcrystalline cellulose is uh, promoting the dissolution of poorly water soluble hydrophobic drugs like uh, spironolactone by forming a coat around hydrophobic drug particle and uh, rendering the hydrophilicity
next one is binders and granulating agent binders like starch gelatin pvp which are hydrophilic in nature they imparts hydrophilic properties to the granule surface and show better dissolution profile with poorly wettable drugs uh, like phenacetin however a more important of binder increases the hardness of tablet and hence decreases the dissolution and disintegration rate these integrants are generally hydrophilic in nature decrease in the amount of disintegration can significantly lower the bioavailability lubricants also decrease the dissolution and disintegration by inhibiting penetration of water into tablet suspending agent also affect the bioavailability as well as the drug absorption these are hydrophilic substances like na natural gums uh, that is acacia tragacanth semi synthetic gums like uh, carboxymethyl cellulose and synthetic gums uh, these stabilize the solid drug particles uh, by reducing their rate of setting through an increase in the viscosity of the medium and affect drug absorption as increase in viscosity by this agent act as a mechanical barrier to the diffusion of drug from the doses form into the bulk of gastrointestinal fluid and retard the gi transit of drugs surfactants also used in the formulation of doses form it may enhance or retards drug absorption by interacting with drug or membrane or both polyoxyethylene ethers enhance gastric or rectal absorption of penicillin cephalosporin in rats and rabbits on the other hand in humans oral polyoxyethylene 20 oleyl ether resulted in poor and variable insulin absorption absorption rates of phenobarbital and secobarbital were increased significantly in the presence of a low concentration of a non ionic surfactant like polysorbate 80 and uh, this decreased by higher concentration of the surfactant the colorants even in a low concentration of water soluble dye uh, can have an inhibitory effect on dissolution rate of uh, many crystalline drugs the dye molecules get absorbed onto the crystal faces and inhibit the drug dissolution one example is uh, the brilliant blue retards dissolution of sulfa thiazole manufacturing variables several manufacturing processes influence drug dissolution from solid doses form uh, the most important process in the manufacture of tablets are method of granulation and compression force a uh, first one is a method of granulation a uh, most conventional technique in the manufacture of tablet is wet granulation process wet granulation yields a tablet that dissolves faster than those uh, made by other granulating methods but a uh, wet granulation method has uh, several limitations like formation of crystal bridge by the presence of liquid and uh, the liquid may act as a medium for affecting chemical reactions Uh, like hydrolysis the drying step may harm the thermolabile drugs also 
direct compression method has been utilized to uh, yield tablets and that dissolve at a faster rate agglomerative phase of communi uh, of comminution uh, that is a poc uh, is the recent method which have resulted superior product tablet produced by this method have higher dissolution rate and the other important process is comp process in the manufacture of tablets are compression force uh, so compression force employed in tableting process influence a uh, density porosity hardness a uh, disintegration time dissolution of tablet etc uh, as compression force is increased the particles may be more tightly bound to one another and uh, yields a tablet with greater hardness and reduced weightability and hence uh, these uh, have a long disintegration time on the other hand higher compression force cause a crushing of drug particles into smaller ones with higher effective surface area which decrease in disintegration time hence it can be concluded that influence of compression force on the dissolution rate is difficult to predict nature and type of doses form is also affect the bioavailability as well as the absorption of drug the doses form in which a drug is administered and its properties often have a profound influence on the rate of absorption and availability of the drug the effect of doses form on absorption rate and physiological availability uh, depends on the rate at which it releases the drug contained therein that is uh, the rate of availability of the drug from the doses form to the biological fluids here uh, you can see a schematic diagram uh, which shows the course of events that occur following oral administration of various doses form as a general rule bioavailability of a drug form uh, that is doses form decreases in the following order solutions emulsions suspensions capsules tablet coated tablets then enteric coated tablets then sustrain release products and that is the solution have higher absorption and the sustained release tablets have lower absorption property a drug in a solution uh, such as syrup elixir is most rapidly absorbed since the major rate limiting step that is drug dissolution is absent emulsions have been found to be superior to suspensions in administering poorly aqueous soluble lipophilic drugs due to large surface area of particles the drug absorption from suspension is rapid soft capsules dissolve faster than the hard gelatin capsules and show better drug bioavailability particle size and diluents and fillers and their nature may influence absorption from capsule the compressed tablet is the most widely used doses form and it is most convenient to but at the same time presents the most difficult problem with respect to availability of a drug for absorption major problem encountered is transferring a solid drug form uh, from a compressed tablet to solution in the gastrointestinal fluids is the a large reduction in effective drug surface area as a consequence of the tablet
since dissolution is most rapid from primary drug particles due to their large surface area, disintegration of a tablet into granules and subsequent uh, deaggregation of granules into fine particles is very important. A number of formulation and processing factors influencing these steps and physicochemical properties of drug substance that influence bioavailability, which I already discussed earlier. And uh, here is one thing. Coating is also influenced the absorption of drug. As already said, entry coated tablets have lower bioavailability than coated tablets like uh, film coated tablets and uh, press coated tablets. Lastly, the product age and storage condition which uh, also affect the absorption as well as the bioavailability a number of changes especially in the physicochemical properties of drug in doses form can result due to aging and alteration in storage conditions which can adversely affect bioavailability Changes can occur during a shelf life of a doses form are affected mainly by large variation of temperature and humidity. Uh, one example is precipitation of drug in solution, decreased rate of change in particle size of suspension drug dissolution and hardening of tablet and absorption. So that's all for today. Check out more of our videos feel free to ask any question about the video and also you can suggest the topic for our next video you can also support us for details check the description box below your support will encourage us for making such videos thanks for watching hope to see you in our next segment till then keep your preparation on and stay tuned with edufarm